Hi everyone, how are you doing today? We are gonna do a little bit with some shapes in nature. So this is Laura McCoy at Hickory Knolls again, and I have got one of our guests with us. This is Kevin, and he's one of our corn snakes. Now, as you're taking a look and trying to explore today, you're gonna to be looking for things that have an interesting shape. So one of your activities is to make a sun catcher. So besides the color of something, you can look at the shape because it'll make interesting shadows. And then you've got another activity that has some tanagrams, which are ways to make shapes into designs. So I thought a good animal to show off some interesting shapes would be the patterns on our corn snake. So if you take a look at Kevin, you probably will notice his color first of all. But if you really start to look, those colors form a pattern. And we've got different shapes. So first of all, we've got the larger shapes. And then if you look at the scales, we have the shape of the scales. So all in one glance, you might miss some of the detail, but if you start paying a little closer attention, you might be able to do this if you're looking at some bark and you'll have the large size first of all. See if you can see some different shapes as you look closer and closer. Now, as Kevin's over here, a way that we can get a little bit better look at what some of the scales are is something that is a quality of a reptile. They have to shed their dry skin for them to be able to grow and get new skin. We shed our skin too, but not quite as dramatic a fashion as a reptile does. This is from Sweetie, one of our other corn snakes. So same type of snake, but she has a little different coloration to her. Her top scales still show some of the pattern. On her bottom scales, and yeah, I'll show you Kevin's too. You can see that the shape of the bottom scales are different. So I'm gonna get Kevin to cooperate again over here. He's starting to go and explore a little bit. As a cold-blooded animal, when he's inside the building, he warms up to whatever temperature it is around him. And when he sits on my arms as a warm-blooded animal, because people are mammals, he warms up and then he starts to get a little bit fidgety. So as he moves around, you can take a look at his top pattern. And then I'm gonna give you kind of a silly snake look. He has a pattern of different shapes on the bottom of his scales. So on our snake, lots of different shapes, lots of different patterns, and lots of different ways to explore. So like Kevin here, you might be getting a little bit fidgety sitting in front of a computer screen watching something for a little while. So I hope you have fun outside today Go explore, see if you can find some materials that are gonna make some interesting shapes in your sun catcher. And then you can come back in, cut up your tanagrams, and see if you can make some different animals. Again, you can get kind of creative with this. See if you can make some of the animals that you might find in your backyard. See if you can find out some ways to make some designs that are gonna be really cool ones from maybe around the world. So Kevin and I wish you happy exploring to find your art supplies for the day. And we'll do some more cool stuff later on this week. Take care.